Hi, this is Grin Pigeon. I'm talking to you from my home in Second Life via the new Second Life Beta Viewer. But what I really want to talk to you about today is the ability to put an interactive URL on the surface of a prim. So over here on my wall, for example, you'll see what looks like a work of art or a television screen, but actually it's just a regular old prim and I have put the uh, web address for the National Gallery of Art on it. And as you can see, I'm clicking through to different pages on the site and uh, the quality is pretty good as I'll zoom in here to show you. and. Uh, you will also notice that above the screen there's a little toolbar that appears when you have your cursor over it that allows you to go back and forth to reload a page and do just about anything that you would do in a regular browser. So let's take a trip to the Tri-C Second Life campus and I'll show you how to put a URL on the surface of a prim. Here we are at Tri-C in Second Life. I'm going to walk out into this grassy open area and res a prim and show you how to put a URL on one of its surfaces. So I'm just going to res an ordinary cube and I'll stretch it out a bit so you can see what's happening. The first thing you want to do is go to the texture tab and then Click on the radio button for select face and click on the face where you want to put the URL. Then you'll notice at the bottom of the build window there's a new media area and if you click the plus sign it opens up this media settings window where all you need to do is to type in a full URL. So I'm typing in here the address to the AEC blog. And then you can click apply and OK. And before I even get to my other build window, it's already starting to load. I'm going to click on the full bright so that it's easier for you to see um, because, uh, you know, with the different lighting situations, um, sometimes uh, surfaces can look dull. And so here's a, uh, our blog site, and it's got some links on it, and I've clicked on the one that uh, goes to a Prezi presentation and uh, it has gone to that web page and now I'm looking at the presentation and I'm going to be able to interact with it just as I would in any web browser uh, and you know just remember we're just on the surface of a regular old uh, wood grain cube but I'm interacting with a Prezi presentation and imagine all the possibilities that this will open up for you for um, teaching in Second Life. The sorts of things that you can display to your students on a surface, the sorts of things that they might be able to interact with, including a Google Doc, for example, where you would all be able to write right on the screen. So what else can we do? Well, let's see if we can put a URL on another surface of the same cube. I'm going to go through the same process that I went to, to put on the first one, uh, selecting a face and um, making sure that it's full bright so that uh, we'll be able to view it, opening up the media settings window, typing in a URL, and here I'm typing in the URL to the other AEC blog, the one for uh, virtual worlds. and it's starting to load and there we are two URLs on two surfaces of the same prim both interactive independent of each other imagine what you could do with a four-sided prim um, what sorts of interactive websites would you display to your students for a learning experience?